Good morning, Acadiana. Abby Breidenbach back here with Chef Marcus at Vermilionville. Good morning. Good morning. We are making fry bread, and if you missed our last little bit, we already made up the dough. It was super easy to make. We had flour, salt, baking powder. That will be on our website later on, so you can do the recipe. But this is what the dough is supposed to look like. Yep, it's, it's uh, rather soft. It's still a little bit sticky, uh, not too dense, not too dry. And all you're going to do next is you're going to rip off just a tiny little ball. A little bit of extra flour on there. Roll it out. And we're going to make basically make like a pizza, I guess, with the pulling motion. So we're going to pull and turn, pull and turn. And we want to straighten this out, but not make it too, too thin. Otherwise, you get some really crunchy um, fry bread, which isn't a bad thing. But this is better. So as you see, it's getting a little bit bigger. I'm going to add a little more flour to it. And can you got, overdo it on the flour? We've been having, we've been adding a lot of flour. It looks uh, like. You can, but as long as you're keeping an eye on your dough, that's why you're working with your hands is the best for this. You can tell when it's getting too dense. Okay. So we're going to get to about right here. and you just, It's not too thin in the middle, but you can see some little air pockets at the top. And so basically, we want those air pockets? We want these air pockets. We want it to come out just like those. I'm going to break one open and show y'all what they look like. But let's see, we're going to drop this in the fryer. Okay. And it won't take long at all, maybe like uh, three minutes max to fry. Because all we're really looking for is a light golden brown. And as you can see, it's already starting to puff up. Okay, and we want it to puff up, right? Those air pockets make it yummy. Oh yeah, you want it to puff up. It just helps with like the, the grease to kind of pull and get a little extra flavor. Um, but also, the it's just really light and airy once you break into it. So we were talking about it earlier. This is kind of like a beignet, or if people are familiar with the Mexican sopapilla, it's a little different though. But it's similar to those in the way that you can add whatever you want sort of on top of it or dip mm -hmm. it. What, what are we going to add this morning? Uh, we're just going to keep it simple. It's breakfast. So we're going to go with honey or powdered sugar. Um, I brought both, but I think we're all leaning towards honey for this. Oh, yeah. um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and rip one of these open. And you can see it's really soft and fluffy. We're just getting in there. You see how it's got some air pockets in it? Mm -hmm. So once we do that, we're just going to put a little bit of honey. So you rip it open before you serve it? You don't have to. I just figured it would be easier than putting a whole one in our mouth. Okay. We'll I like that. This. Thank you. For the sake of TV, yeah, we're saving, for the sake of TV. saving ourselves. So we're just going to do a little bit of honey on the inside. All right. Because the main flavor of these things is basically salt and flour. So adding a little bit of honey really helps. All right, and we're just going to go for it and try these? Yep, I'll take the small one. All right. Oh, it's drizzling everywhere. Mm-hmm. So good. You see how it's kind of chewy, but not too chewy. Really light, really fluffy. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite things to do right now. And it's not too sweet. Nope. You can add the honey, but you could also probably add something savory to this mm -hmm. as well, right? Oh, yeah, um, you can do fried catfish tacos. You can do um, sausages of some sort. Um, it's really good, though. Fry bread. Super easy. You can make it with your kids. It's summertime, you'll probably be wanting something to do. So yeah, check this recipe out. Obviously, you can find all of that information on our website, kHC.com too, if you missed any of us here this morning. But we're going to stay here and keep eating while we send it back to the studio. For